Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be preparing albondigas, albondigas en caldillo. Now this is meatball soup with vegetables. It's a classic Mexican dish, very easy to put together, and it's the perfect weather for it, and I know you're going to love it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make it, step by step. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is partially cook my rice. I've got one third cup of rice right here and I'm going to boil it for about five to six minutes because that's the rice that I'm going to add into my meatballs and I don't want to add it raw. So now we can go to the stove. Now as you can see I've got this small saucepan with boiling water. I'm going to add my rice in here and I'm only going to let it boil for about six minutes. So my rice has boiled for six minutes. Now I'm gonna set this rice aside until I'm ready to use it. And now we can move on to our next step. So now that I'm done with my rice, I'm gonna grind my spices. I like to use freshly ground spices when I make albondigas. I've got 3 fourths of a teaspoon of peppercorns and 3 fourths of a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and I'm gonna grind this up really good. Now you can use store-bought ground spices if you like. So I've got these nice and ground. I'm gonna add my garlic. I have two large garlic cloves and I'm gonna mash these up really well in here. So this is nice and ground. Now I'm gonna add one cup of water to my molcajete. I'm gonna bring it in together really well and then I'm gonna set it aside along with the rice. And then we can move on to the next step. So now that I'm done grinding my spices, I'm ready to prepare my meatballs. I have one and a half pounds of very lean ground beef in here. I'm gonna add my onions. I have a fourth of a small onion, finely chopped. I'm gonna add my rice. This is one third cup partially cooked rice. This is gonna keep everything together and that's what we want. We don't want our meatballs falling apart. And I have one teaspoon of onion powder and I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, three fourths of a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. There it goes. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. I'm going to add some pepper. You can add as much as you want. That's good. I'm going to add my salt. Now I'm gonna add my fresh mint and I have finely chopped it. If you don't wanna use mint, you can use cilantro. Just finely chop it and then you can add it in here or you can just leave it all out. But this is gonna give these meatballs a delicious flavor. I have two large eggs. I'm gonna add them in here. That's gonna help get the meatballs to stay together really nice. And I'm gonna bring all this together. See, look at this. Now you wanna make sure that everything is incorporated really well so we can make beautiful meatballs. So now I've got everything very well incorporated, just perfect. Now I'm gonna make my meatballs. You wanna have your hands nice and clean and there's no better way to do it than doing it with your hands. Now you can make the meatballs any size that you want. See, just like this, nice and round and I'm gonna set them aside right here on this tray. You can make a bunch of little ones or a lot bigger. It just depends how your family likes them. And I'm gonna continue the process until I'm all done with the meatballs. So here's my last one. I was able to make 18 meatballs. So now that I have my meatballs ready, we can go on to the next step. I'm ready to put my soup together. I'm gonna start out by adding two tablespoons of canola oil into my Dutch oven. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I have a fourth of a medium sized onion in here and these are finely chopped. Now I'm gonna move my onions around just for about a minute or so so they can release their flavor in here. Now you know that onions always go first. And I'm also gonna add some green onions 
These are two green onions, green part and all. Now I'm gonna add my celery. I have one large celery rib and I cut it up into really small pieces like this. And I'm also gonna add some green bell pepper. I have half of a small green bell pepper or you can just leave it out if you don't want the pepper in here. But this will give it a delicious flavor and also texture. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. I have two large Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna move everything around like this until my tomatoes get nice and mushy. Now, as you can see, my tomatoes are nice and mushy. That's what we want. Now I'm gonna add my spices from the molcajete. Oh, this smells wonderful in here. This is what's gonna give us that authentic flavor we're looking for. Now I'm gonna add my beef broth. I have eight cups of beef broth. I'm gonna add them in here. Now I'm gonna start out with the eight cups of beef broth, but if I feel that I need some more later, I will add some more. Now, as you can see, it's starting to boil. Now I'm ready to put my albondigas into my pot. Now I'm gonna load them up onto this spoon. I think it's easier to put them in like this, slowly, because you don't want them to break. This is so easy for me like this, see? And you can let them go in gently. And I'm gonna continue the process. So I've added all my albondigas into the Dutch oven. Now I'm gonna replace the lid and I'm gonna let them cook on a gentle boil for 20 minutes. And then we'll move on to the next step. Now it's been exactly 20 minutes. Look at these albondigas. So I'm gonna add my potatoes. I have one large russet potato and I have it cut up into cubes like this. And I have half of a small sweet potato because I like a little bit of the sweetness that the sweet potato gives this dish. So I'm gonna add my potatoes in here. Now these take a little longer to cook. That's why I add these first. Now I'm gonna add my chayote. Now this is a chayote right here. This is how you find them at the grocery store. I bought these at Walmart. Now the flavor is kind of like in between a cucumber and a squash. So they're very mild, but they are delicious in this soup. And I peeled it and then I cut them up into cubes. Now since my potatoes, sweet potato and chayote were cold, I'm gonna wait until the soup comes up to a light boil. And then I'm gonna count four minutes. I also added four more cups of beef broth, making it a total of 12 cups. I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let them cook like this for four minutes before I add the next ingredient. I've got two medium sized carrots and I cut them up into pieces about this size. See, bite size. I don't like them really big. I like them bite size. Now I'm gonna add my carrots in here. Now I also have one chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. You can leave it out or you can just add the adobo sauce. So here's one chipotle pepper. I'm gonna add it in there. Now that's gonna give it a delicious smoky flavor and beautiful color, but it's optional. Now this would also be a good time for you to taste it and adjust the salt in here. Mine is just perfect. I had just tasted it. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it cook at a low bubble for 20 minutes, and then we'll add our last ingredient. I've got two calabacitas here, just like this one. See, this is a Mexican calabacita or a tatuma squash. If you can't find these, you can just use zucchini. I always use zucchini when I can't find these. I'm gonna add some cilantro that I have chopped up. You can leave it out if you don't want it, but I just think it's delicious in here. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it simmer like this at a low boil for 10 minutes. 
This is ready to be served. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. I like to start off with uh, albondigas first. Now I'm gonna add some Mexican rice on the side. Oh, just beautiful. I also have some corn tortillas that I made while I was making my caldo de albondigas. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Some of the sweet potato and the calabacita. My caldo de albondigas is out of this world delicious. So here we are. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.